my son to our good Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But he too will be a counselor to his family and friends. And he is our friend. Even Jesus, the Alpha and Omega, knows what it feels like to rely 100% on his parents. And when your time has come to go out to this world, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before anyone, for the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. And in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. There is no special playbook or instruction manual to raising children. We as parents do our best. We succeed and we fail through trial and error. But because of the young man that you are, it's as if God gave us a cheat code. Mom and I are blessed to have you as a son. To everyone in this room, you hold a special peace in their hearts. We read in Proverbs 18.21, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So we know that our words are influential. We can build people up, or we can tear them down with our words. As parents, we have the special privilege to speak, speak blessings over our children. Lady, you are loved, chosen, and accepted by everyone. You can always make it through any situation. God's grace is always enough for you. You were made with a special purpose. There are great things ahead of you. You were formed perfectly in your mom's womb. You are blessed and highly favored. Amen. To you we're going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our name, who you have entrusted to us. Truly, he's a friend, a treasure from you, Lord. He makes life so much more fulfilling. We will be forever grateful to you for giving him to us. As he continues to grow, help us, Father, to be a good example to him always. Help us to be godly parents. Help us to love him just as you have loved us. Make us the instrument, Lord, by which he will see you and who you are. Being a parent isn't an easy task, but with you, Lord, everything is possible. Bless his mind with sound decision-making skills. Let his hands be channels of your blessing to his loved ones, friends, and classmates, and all his family. Let not his tongue be used to destroy others through harsh words. Rather, enable him to speak life, encouragement, and grace. Protect our many each and every day. Be his shield and his fortress. Keep him away from the evils of this world. Let no bad influence corrupt his mind. Let no accident fall on him while he is away from home. Let no physical harm touch his body and keep him away from illness. Allow him to gain more knowledge in his studies and in the universe we have created. May he continue to develop his mind and seek the truth above all. Lenny, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift you up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And everyone say, Amen. Amen.